Well, uh, a little bit different, obviously. When Chaz Williams is a mainstay for all those years, um, you know, they lose a little bit in terms of their experience, but they have some real talented guys back. Katie Lelane inside, Maxie Esho, terrific inside players. Uh, Trey Davis and Derek Gordon on the perimeter, give them experience from last year's NCAA tournament team. And then they mix in some really talented young guys as well. So uh, to me, they're a dangerous team. They've always been very dangerous in transition. Uh, they're fast at home, and I think, you know, with their inside guys, they can really present some problems. Here. It'll be a tough string. Um, you know, we're not alone, though. Everybody in college basketball has their their moments where they're, they hit a tough stretch or it looks like a daunting stretch, so to speak, but you got to take it one day at a time. And, you know, we're preparing right now to play uh, at UMass, which will be a very tough game, and then we have a quick turnaround as we get ready for a home game against Fordham. And uh, it's one week at a time. You know, each week presents its own challenges. Uh, but you got to take care of business every day before you go. And today's practice is as important as any as we've had. Just preparing for the next game, you know, going up to UMass and just taking one at a time and hopefully we get all four. And just taking one game at a time and prepare each and every day and get ready with the next practice coming up. Uh, I just think I was being a little bit more aggressive in, in, the, in the beginning of the A-10 play and just doing what the team needed. And my team just gave me opportunities to make plays, and I just think I got to continue playing that way, and we'll be fine. I think we're all getting accustomed to playing the heavy minutes. You know, everybody wasn't really used to playing the heavy minutes, being that we all shared minutes last year, playing 20 minutes. So I just think it's a little bit, we, we all just got to get used to it. And I think we're getting real used to it as we go down the season. I don't think you need a number next to your name to, to be, you know, locked in. I think our team's been pretty much locked in um, a long time. And uh, that's probably part of the reason that we've been able to get some uh, credit for winning some games here in the last couple weeks, two, three weeks. Uh, but there's bigger things to play for. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a heck of a grind to go through February to put yourself in a position in this conference to get an at-large bid or where you're going to be positioned in the Atlantic 10 tournament in Brooklyn. There's a lot of things that can still go on here, good and bad. So we got to really stay in the moment. It's about today. It's about this practice. It's about them as individuals having some responsibility to keep getting better. And as we get ready to play, the only thing that really matters is our next opportunity, which is UMass.